welcome. In this video, we are going to explore the iX series amplifiers, actually three products in one, and their integration in the SonicQ sound system software. The iX series offers two 8-channel and three 4-channel amplifiers with a total power budget of 6, 3, or 1.5 kilowatts for high and low Z, 4 or 8 high-quality mic line inputs, 8 Dante inputs, and outputs, a 96 kHz fully-featured DSP matrix mixer, ghost power via PoE for backup, and EcoRail for significant energy savings. iX features state-of-the-art supervision and protections packages derived from the flagship IPX series. The task engine for control, automation, and integration can save the need for an extra DSP. iX series amplifiers are fully integrated into SonicQ, plugins for third-party systems are available. To add the iX amplifiers to your workspace, make sure you are in the Setup and Design tabs, then click on Amplifiers in the Catalog section. The iX series includes five amplifiers, two 8-channel and three 4-channel models. As with any device in SonicQ, you can easily bring them into your workspace by using drag and drop. Grab all the amps by left-clicking and selecting them all. Then we can use the Align function to clean up our workspace. Next, let's look at the mode flyout. I will use an iX15-4. This flyout determines the operation mode of the amplifier channels. Except for the iX64 model, iX series amplifiers have the capability to bridge two adjacent channels. There are two operation mode options for low Z. Two to four ohm for maximum current and four to 16 ohm for maximum voltage. For high Z, you have the standard options of 70 volt or 100 volt direct drive. The iX64 model does not offer the bridge option and has only one low Z mode. To access the DSP matrix mixer, make sure you are in the setup design page, click on the amp, and then the DSP icon. The input routing flyout opens. There are four analog inputs on the four channel models and eight inputs on the eight channel models. All iX amplifiers have eight Dante inputs. iX series also offers mix buses as inputs for the amp channels. Four on the four channel and eight on the eight channel. Input configuration allows, in addition to labeling and trim, the setup of the analog mic line inputs. Gain can be set up to plus 60 dB and 48 volt phantom power can be switched individually per channel. All channels can now be processed and mixed in the Mixer tab. The iX8 channel models have a 16x16 matrix mixer and a 12x12 matrix mixer in the 4 channel. Next, let's look at the DSP functions. Input and output channels can be linked for stereo signals. Cross-point selection and level can be done with multi-select. Connect sets the cross-point to active with the current level setting. You can click anywhere to deselect, and the fader panel disappears. All input channels have comprehensive signal processing, starting with a high-pass filter, a noise gate, a four-band EQ allowing a choice of PQ, low and high shelf, and high and low pass filter. There is also a compressor that can be switched to automatic gain control, AGC. Last but not least, iX's Matrix Mixer features a stereo FX block known from Dynacord's PowerMate. Activating the FX blocks expands the flyout with the individual send levels as well as the preset selections sorted by category. You'll notice that by default, all sends are minus 80 dB in level and muted. Click on the FX block again to close it and return to the mixer. A unique feature of iX series is the option for sending signals and mixes to Dante. The Dante Out tab shows the eight sends to the Dante network. As an option, you can select the mic line inputs direct, the input signal to an amplifier channel, the output signal of an amplifier channel, and any of the 12 or 16 mix buses. This allows you to use any input signal with or without signal processing, but also any submix. Before you connect the speakers to the iX amplifier channels, 
Make sure that you have selected the correct operation mode. In our example, we use channels 1 and 2 for a 100 volt line. Drive two EVID S10 subs at 2 ohms on channel 3 and have a EVC1122VI at 8 ohms on channel 4. When you click Online, then Writing, the speaker settings get transferred to the dedicated amp channels. The Tune tab works the same for IX as with all other Dynacord amplifiers in SonicQ. Click Tune, and you immediately see the user level settings of all speakers. When we select the two EVID high Z lines, the level flyout opens, highlighting the selected speakers and matching amplifier channels. You can select any combination of speakers and adjust as required. Changes are immediately shown and audible when online. If you select a group with inconsistent levels, an orange flag indicator shows in the value field and the fader handle disappears. The lowest and highest values are shown. Use the up or down arrows for adjusting the level. The flyout selections are memorized, so if you click on EQ, you get the EQ for the same group of speakers. The same works for delay. There are 12 bands in the user EQ with a wide choice of filter types. Once you are done tuning the system, you can save the setting as a preset in the amplifier. The iX amplifier has 20 user presets. A recall to FL1 clears all DSP settings to factory default. Note, for partial recalls, for example only the parameters in one zone, you can use the scene block in iX's task engine. The task engine is iX's logic processor for control, automation, and scheduling that's usually only found in dedicated DSP matrix mixers. It's vital to use iX amps in installations without the need of an additional matrix. To open the task engine, click on the amplifier and then on the logic icon. The task engine has a catalog similar to the main workspace in SonicQ. This example shows GPI-1, which is configured to switch power standby, GPI-2 to switch mute all, and GPO-3 to indicate the mutes all status on an external LED. The task engine is running on the iX amplifier, so you need to be online to see it working. Closing the GPI-2 triggers the mute all, which triggers GPO-3 to turn on the LED, indicated by the white lines with the text true. Pressing the button to activate GP2 again reverses the action. The task engine is a powerful tool that was derived from the task engine in the MXE564 Open Architecture DSP. iX series offers all options with SonicQ control, as well as direct support for the WPN1 wall panel controller. SonicQ's panel designer allows us to create customized control panels that run on the TPC1 touch panel, but also on Windows PCs and iOS devices. As an example, let's look at the panel designer and its actions in the matrix mixer. To check if a panel is working as expected, use the preview mode. For the zone, pool, we can select two input sources, music or TV. Day and night recalls EQ scenes to reduce low frequencies at later hours. The same in the restaurant tab, but here the lights are controlled via an HTTP command in the task engine. Lobby offers a mixer with three faders. To show how fast and easy you can design a control panel, let's add a button to turn the FX on or off to the panel. In design mode, you see the mixer fly out, showing purple indicator fields. Press and hold control and move the value you want, for example, FX mute, to the workspace. The value is immediately shown. Next, let's rename the value to FX off and place it on the panel. We can check that it is working in preview. You can see that pressing the button toggles FX on and off. In addition to control panels for TPC-1, Windows or iOS devices, 
You can also use the WPN1 wall panel controller directly with an IX amplifier. New with IX series in SonicQ, but working of course for all control panels is the Secure Overlay. Secure Overlay is a rectangle that can be adjusted in size and protects a dedicated area or the whole panel from unauthorized access. You can set a four-digit pin, set the timer for how long the protection will be released, decide if you want a visible button and the color and border color. Switch to Preview to check that it is working. As soon as the protected area is touched, the pin request appears. Only after the correct pin is entered will the protected buttons be accessible. Because it's fully flexible in size, you have full control over which parts of a control panel are reserved for an authorized user group. IX series amplifiers can use power over Ethernet through the primary port to keep the DSP inputs and networking active, even if mains power fails. With a UPS backing PoE, the system stays fully operational during outages. Audio restarts within seconds after power returns, critical for NFPA 70 compliance and mission-critical setups. When mains power comes back, the fault flag turns off, the mains indicators reactivate, and voltage and current readings return. The amp is ready to go, no reset needed. Local audio inputs keep working during power loss, so audio stays available on the network. With PoE, the amp can enter standby while still sending local input audio to other devices. Switching to standby turns the amplifier channels off. Speakers also fade to standby while the local inputs keep playing. The mains power voltage and current values remain. You now have a better understanding of IX amplifiers in SonicQ. For more videos on SonicQ and IX series, see the links in the description below and thanks for watching.